Dear friends, in day 18 of Experience Cloud, we are going to talk about the topic Fab Icon. Now, Fab Icon is a very easy topic, and in just few clicks, you can achieve your business requirement. Now, to under to make you understand what is a Fab Icon, can you see this logo? It's a Salesforce, right? So. I mean, just by seeing this logo, you can understand that this is a Salesforce site, irrespective of, of, what, of what is the use, right? It's, it simply says that this is a Salesforce site. Now, when I say the Salesforce site, means that this is the site which has the domain of the Salesforce, right? and you are using it for your business purpose. Now, for example, if a company needs their own branding, so this should be changed. I mean, you know, uh, the logo should change. Logo should represent your company's logo, right? Similarly, if you see any of the companies, you know, we have in the website, See here, it's Tata, right? Tata logo is available here, right? So it basically gives you the idea that this side belongs to this company. This side belongs to the so-and-so company which works in such and such domain, right? It's a branding. So we are going to talk about the fab icon in this today's session, how you can use the fab icon in Salesforce. So let's go in the, in the setup and first thing is you have to generate a fab icon image. So you can you, you can use any image, you know, any, uh, uh, I mean the fab icon generator which is available free on, uh, you know, on, on Google. So this is the one you can use. So what they do is they give you the option. You simply have to upload your uh, file here, the picture, and they will, you know, I mean, they will, you know, they will create a fab icon for you. So for example, let's see, if I try to generate the fab icon image, uh, let's use this. So let me give the name as uh, Tata Motors. Okay, will be easy to identify, right? And then I go here, simply click on uh, here. You can you know, even drag the file and download. In the zip format, it will provide you the different images with different different dimensions, which you can use of your uh, as per your requirement. It's taking time to, uh, to download. So here are the images. With different different dimensions you can use of your uh, I mean as for your requirement you can use now after that what you have to do is you have to go here static resources in the setup and in the static resources you have to upload your image. Now I have uploaded this image here, okay, with the fab pic. If 
you want to see the file, you can see the file here. See? Right? So, you have to click, I mean, after uploading it, you have to copy this URL, paste it here, and then go to your uh, builder, in the settings, now, what we are going to do here is we are going to use this st static resource image in our uh, experience cloud side to be used as, as our fair icon image. So you have to go into the builder, then the settings, and here we will put the URL to use as a fair icon image. In this, you have to go into the advanced, and here we have the add marker. Click the edit. Okay. What you have to do is this will be available for you already. Okay. I mean, so what you have to do is after this section, let's go to this. After the href, you have to simply put this. Let me just uh, question mark the entire URL within the within the these. Uh, let me say uh, commands so, uh, or normally string uh, string maker. So, you know, within the, you know, I mean this, you have to put your, uh, the entire uh, URL and then your site will start showing you the favorite. Hope you have liked this video. So please don't forget to put a thumbs up. And the next session, I will be connecting with you with a new session. Sunday, I will be bringing these new sessions on JavaScript. So if you are looking for a JavaScript course, please do watch the Sunday's video. I'm sure that that will going to help you. Thank you for watching this video. Stay healthy. Keep learning.